Hey everyone, welcome to another video here from the windowcleaningstore.com. Today I want to show you the Mormon 2.0 holster. So earlier today I was showing somebody uh, how the Mormon 2.0 holster works for carrying your tools and it just dawned on me that I've never even done a video on this product and I've had this in the shop here for oh, pretty close to a year. So let's take a look at the Mormon 2.0 holster now. So first of all, let's take a look inside here. So what they've done is they've opened up the area where you would put your uh, T-bar scrubber and they've allowed for combination tools, which is really cool. So such as your Mormon Accelerator Complete will fit nicely in there, as you can see there. As well, it'll accommodate other third-party combination tools such as wagtail, uh, this is a high flyer in there. Wagtail flippers will work in there fine as well. So besides this area here, the next area down below that, you can put two individual squeegees in there. So you have, say this Ettore Pro Grip with stainless steel channel will fit in there nicely. As well, what I've noticed is on uh, channels such as the uh, Ninja, because of the big clips, technically speaking, the slot is big enough for the channel to go in, but I can feel a lot of rubbing. So I wouldn't recommend that you put the uh, Ninja into those sections there. However, there is a solution for that if you are rocking the uh, Ungry Ninja. So let's take a look at a typical strip washer in here. Now let's, I'm gonna hold this up here. So when we slide the typical standard T-bar in there, you'll notice that there's still space there. And that's where, like I said, there is a workaround. This is where if I was rocking a Ninja, I would definitely slide that into there. There's plenty of room there. I don't feel the rubber rubbing at all. And it still looks pretty decent. And because you're doing that, then you can rock some different style squeegees into the front section over here. Either one here, another one there. So technically you could have three squeegees of standard variety. Now you may have noticed there's also this little cutout here. This is where, just like the Unger Ninja one, uh, Unger Ninja bucket on belt, they have a place for your pocket scraper. So you could put a pocket scraper in there quite easily. And not just the Unger brand, I mean there's other brands we one of our popular ones, the big red uh, pocket scraper, fits in there nicely as well. There it is, all complete. So you can rock quite a few tools in this particular holster. I like it a lot. It's a, a lot more affordable than, let's say, uh, well, it's a little bit more affordable than the Younger Ninja holster. Definitely more affordable than the Aztec. And of course, you can get into some, some of those really high fancy bucket on a belt that can get quite expensive. But I like it, I mean, for what it is, it's, it's a pretty good product. And uh, it, it has the, the removable clip, like I have that on my belt now. So you can keep this on your belt at all times. And then when you need your holster, you can simply click it on and there you go. And then just squeeze that, it comes off again. So anyway, check it out. The Mormon 2.0 holster, really, like I said, really quite surprised I hadn't done a video on this. Sorry about that, guys. But anyway, as you can see, it's quite, uh, it's got quite a lot, a lot of functionality to it. All right, take care. Bye for now.